Welcome to Bergen, Norway. The city is known as the heart of the fjords and is used by many tourists as a base to explore Norway's natural wonders. Today, I'm taking you with me on a stunning fjord cruise. All of this is just unbelievable. We'll look at Bergen's most Instagram famous spot, find out what a fjord is, and show you some of the most stunning nature you have ever seen. And of course, I can't miss out on the fresh fish. When you search for images of Bergen, you'll discover Bryggen, a picturesque wharf with colorful wooden buildings, and historic brick houses with connections to the Hanseatic League, a powerful trading alliance from the Middle Ages. The Hanseatic Wharf of Bryggen is the city's oldest area. It used to be a key center for trade between Norway and Europe, and today it's a vibrant area full of shops, museums, galleries, and restaurants. How cute are these wooden houses? I don't know if you can see it, but these houses are so old that they're slanted. Bryggen is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a testament to Norwegian architecture. The buildings have been remarkably preserved over the centuries, even having survived several fires thanks to rebuilding efforts and restoration projects. It's a great place to find some souvenirs. I am right at Bergen's harbor area, where various cruise options and departure points make it an accessible way for tourists to experience Norway's iconic fjords. I'm meeting with Arild from Guided Fjord Tours, who will be joining me. You know, the Germans had a monopoly here from about uh, 1350 up to the 1700s in the The German Hanseatic merchants are the reason why Bergen's port became such an important hub for trade and fishing. Today, it is Norway's second largest seaport and one of the most popular cruise destinations in Northern Europe. There are plenty of offers, including cruises that last several days and cost hundreds of euros. But I recommend this smaller four-hour trip to see the fjords. It is available year-round for 750 Norwegian crowns, or about 63 euros per person. So, could you tell me, what exactly is a fjord anyway? A fjord is an opening in the bedrock. It is filled with water, and it's been created by ice, sand, boulders, stones, all types of sediments. But it differs. The shape, like a U, is usually created by the heavy ice cap about 10 to 12,000 years ago. Whole Norway was covered by ice. And what is it about fjords that make them so spectacular to see? You feel like you're in a room without roof. So you get nature very close to you because you don't have to look at it at a distance. You can get very close because the sides of the fjords are usually very steep. It's a bit spectacular, of course. I'm really looking forward to see what Arald means. But first, I'm warming up in the cockpit and saying hi to Captain Herman. So how do you drive this thing? Can you tell me? It looks pretty complicated. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of uh, different uh, systems here. We use this stick on two different uh, modes. And uh, that's on uh, autopilot. Then I can take the course I want to when I'm looking here at the map. I like it. I love it. I, uh, uh, look at this. Look at the fjord and uh, I like the fog between the, between the mountains. This catamaran is taking us up the 27-kilometer Osterfjord in the northeast of Bergen, one of the most popular fjord tours. The fjord is surrounded by steep mountains, lush greenery, and cascading waterfalls. Here, you can really take in the varied landscapes of western Norway's fjords. This fjord is like a U. You yeah. can just imagine the bottom of it. Breathtaking. But the highlight is still yet to come. This part here that we're going through is like the narrowest part of the tour and it's called the Mostrauman Strait. In a few seconds, we are about to see something really impressive.
the Mastrauman Waterfall. Now we are heading back to Bergen the same way and can really absorb the majestic surroundings once more. All of this is just unbelievable, stunning. I love it. I'm having a great time, but bring waterproof clothes. This is one of the wettest regions in Europe. <laughs> really windy and cold and rainy right now, especially up here on the upper deck. But the occasional rain also brings us some pretty rainbows as we head back to Bergen's port. That was quite the thrill and a fantastic way to experience a Norwegian fjord. I'm back on solid ground now and I'm feeling really hungry. So I'm gonna go check out the popular fish market or Fiskatorget in Norwegian. Let's go. Bergen has a rich maritime history due to its Hanseatic heritage where merchants traded fish. There's usually the outdoor fish market right around here, but it's not the season right now. Locals recommend the indoor fish market anyway, which is great because I'm a little chilly. Smells like fish. Seafood is of course a must in Norway, and there's plenty of it here, including Norwegian stockfish, dried in a process that dates back to the Viking Age and is the main reason that Bergen became one of the largest centers for trade in Northern Europe. And there are some other interesting looking fish here. I don't even know you could eat some of this stuff. <laughs> That it looks crazy. Turns out that's an angler fish. So apparently, you can not only buy this fish and take it home, you can also have it freshly prepared for you when you sit and dine here. How cool is that? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't even need a menu, I already know I want Norwegian salmon. Norway is one of the top exporters of salmon in the world. Let's give it a try. Now that's some good salmon. I've had a lovely little exploration of Bergen today. From the fjords to the fish. If you have any other tips for Norway, let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel.